We're finishing up the brake overhaul on the FRS today by installing the Grimspeed Master Cylinder Brace. Believe it or not, this is actually gonna give you a very similar feel to stainless steel brake lines. And that's because if you take a close look at your brake master cylinder, when someone is pressing down hard on the brake pedal, you actually see that it moves around quite a bit and that's due to the flex in the firewall. So when we install this, it removes over 90% of that deflection and gives us a firm and more consistent pedal feel, which is exactly what we want while we're out on the track. We wanna be able to go into corners, braking late and maintain that consistency throughout the session. It's super easy to install. It's basically just a couple of bolts. Shouldn't take you any more than about 20 minutes. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove this brace. Now it's not completely necessary, but it is gonna give us a little bit more room to work with. There's just three 12 millimeter nuts and one 12 millimeter bolt to remove. And then we can set this aside. Once that's out of the way, we need to remove this black sticker here that is covering one of the threaded holes we're gonna be using. And we need to remove the 10 millimeter bolt that's holding the fuel line bracket in place. Now we can slide the brace into place and secure it using the included 10 millimeter bolts. Also note that I already installed the stud here with the two nuts. Just make sure that the hole for the Allen key is on the front side so you have access to that. Once you have those two bolts tightened, we can slide the red cap into place and then snug down the nut on the back side here. I'm gonna try and center it up as best as possible. Now we're gonna take a five millimeter Allen key to hold the stud in place and a 15 millimeter wrench. And we're gonna do another full turn on the nut to preload the brace. So that's about a quarter. Should be good there. Then we can go ahead and tighten the nut on the front side. Now we just need to reinstall the brace and that's it. That's really all it takes guys. I will leave a link down in the description for the Grim Speed Master Cylinder Brace if you wanna pick one up for yourself. That pretty much rounds off the brake upgrades for the rest of the year. Uh, next year we'll probably upgrade to some more aggressive pads and then eventually to a big brake kit. But now we can focus on some different things like suspension, wheels and tires, uh, exhaust, intake, maybe some aero and see where that puts us. If you guys have any suggestions on parts I should install on the car, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.